In 1910, the Jekyll Island Club was the most exclusive place for the wealthy elite to gather. Separated from the rest of the country, both geographically and socially, it was also the birthplace of the plan that spawned the Federal Reserve, which transformed American finance during a 10-day gathering of influential bankers in off-season. Jekyll Island it was said to have been the richest, most exclusive club in the world mm -hmm. during its peak. And in terms of the way that membership worked, that you couldn't come in unless you were a member or invited by a member. Now one of the more famous members, and there were certainly many, of this club was J.P. Morgan. One of the interesting things about the Jekyll Island Club is you had so many members who were associated with each other through so many different business connections. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very common for them to be able to uh, come and spend time on the island and then con continue their business uh, just as though they were in New York, even mm -hmm. though it was done at a more leisurely pace. From New Jersey to ride down to Georgia, they used fake names, they only used their first names, they weren't supposed to talk to each other, that even here they were using first names, but it sounds like the staff would have been pretty in tune with having to somewhat know who their guests were and also keeping secrets anyway. Some of that has its origins in, in some of the, the publications that came out during this era where they were trying to prevent this idea of a central banking system from taking hold. And so, you know, what could be better than people coming under assumed names and trying to create some sort of a nefarious system. They were the closest thing to a monarchy that America ever had.